Surprise. Right, saying nice stuff about us? I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. He owes me a bottle of rosé. You want to sit just sit in the lap, okay? Bottle of rosé, baby. There you go. Oh. All right. Yeah, we were really good defensively. I thought. I thought we are our. our uh, I thought our uh, defense, our ball screen defense, and our uh, our rotations were really, really good. Um, and that it started there. I think they had 29 points at halftime. We left left a little on the table defensively um, in the second half, but that's that's where it started. And with us, that's where it's going to start. <laughs> Isaac, it seems like your your defense at the rim, your length caused a lot of problems for the shooters on Tennessee. Can you speak to how you're able to leverage their sort of lack of explosive to rim to start the defense out? Uh, I think mo for the most part, it was just timing, seeing where those guys were going up when they were loading up. And then once I saw them, you know, relieve their feet, that's when I left. Um, I definitely could have had more at the end. I think I left a lot on the, on the table there and let them kind of get a few easy ones. Got lost on defense a couple times right there at the end. Yeah, so yeah. there's always more to improve on. You know, I, I think a lot of it is just the Elam ending sets some, some, something off in people's brains where we need to play differently. I don't know why it's, I, I call it hero ball. Um, but that's something we need to correct moving forward for sure is to move the ball in the, uh, in the, in the Elam ending and, and make more passes and get better shots. But uh, I thought we started off slow and that hurt us. Fatigue might have been it. You know, maybe that is fatigue. You know, these guys are playing their, their tails off. So um, something definitely to look at and correct um, for, for Sunday. Coach, you wish that most of your players have been active on microphones where instead of saying dumb things, just actually swallowed the microphone. Yeah, yeah, sure. All the time. We were lucky early. He got two really good looks. And we talked about before the game how when he comes off the ball screen or he comes off a pin down, we have got to be up. And we weren't the first two and he missed them. Um, you know, certainly I think we had some moments where we played good D on him, but he's one of the best shooters in, you know, the history of Tennessee basketball. We knew it and we gave him some good ones and we were fortunate. So, guys, thanks for making Isaac possibly. Uh, Purdue basketball is a long story tradition in Final Four, lots of great runs. You played a team that has had a school that's never made a Final Four. Do you think your pedigree of tournament success helped that matchup since Tennessee didn't make a Final Four? I think it really just comes down to, to individual focus. Honestly, I think a lot of our guys were just focused today. They were locked in. They played good team offense, team defense. We communicated well. And then now you see the end result. And hopefully we can carry that over to the next game. Yeah, I, I think I did okay. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, there's some things that I could certainly, I wish I had back. I had Cam uh, on an under out of bounds play where I had him and I I totally telegraphed. I think Wayne Chisholm kicked it. Um, you know, certainly there, there's always things you can do better. I need to rebound better. You know, there's a couple of times, especially the end, I think I got a little tired and you look at like Duke and Tyler and, and Wayne, man, those guys are athletes and they're strong and I got to do a better job of just blocking out. And if I can't go get it, you know, close my man off and, and let somebody else go get the rebound. What did you think about the atmosphere at CBC just, you know, playing in the Elam ending? Yeah. The well, the Elam ending is terrifying, uh, especially <laughs> with the way we executed tonight with it. Um, no, but the atmosphere was was awesome. It, it feels like a little bit uh, like a sectional game in high school where you've got multiple fan bases. You have a big Ohio State contingent. We had a great crowd. Um, this is a great event. I, I've always known that. I, you know, I announced it three years ago. I've seen it firsthand here in Columbus. But, um, you know, we're looking forward to uh, getting back to work on well, tomorrow and then playing Sunday. All right, we got a few questions for you. Coach, first question. Can you walk us through what was uh, your first thoughts when you heard Robbie was going to be joining the squad? Well, I was disappointed in the fact that, you know, he got bounced from the Olympic qualifying. I wanted him there. You know, I knew that, that was it. <laughs> I was definitely, you know, definitely disappointed for him in that aspect. And, uh, you know, I knew that he had interest in playing and I was obviously excited, you know, excited to, to compete with my guy again, um, you know, get out, get on that floor and a different capacity for me, for sure. But uh, working and learning from these guys and um, and Rob has been great. I was definitely excited. Obviously, we're in Columbus and I came in late, so you guys probably already talked about it three times. But there's a pretty good Purdue crowd out there tonight. You know, it wasn't quite back, but talk a little bit about 
fan for me to have them here. You know, just feeling like old time. Um, well, for me, it, it, it's really special. I'm, I'm sure it feels the same to Robbie and all the other Purdue guys on our team, Ryan. And it, it's it, it's something else. Like when you were part of that family, like like when you get to play and represent that again, like I told Ryan K from the beginning, like just being able to wear the Purdue like logo, whether it's not, you know, actually Purdue, where it's the representation of Purdue, like that's special to me. So I, I just put a lot of blood, sweat and tears in that program. So anything that can that can help further that program and raise it up in other people's eyes. I think that's just special to me. Isaac, I don't know what it is, but uh, everyone seems to kind of go at you. And you, get, you get everyone's best shot. Why, why do you think that is? I think it's just because I'm the biggest, baddest dude on the court. I think that's just because I got no, I got no, um, I don't hold back usually. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I try to do as best as I can. And sometimes I may lose focus for here and there, but, uh, for the most part, like I, I think I just go hard and uh, I expect the best out of people. And whether that be a playing against them or or they're on my team, I always want them to play their best. So, Robbie, uh, you told us a few months ago that you would not be playing in TV career. <laughs> and here you are. So, do you want to tell us that you will not be winning in championships? And that yeah, I'll put the jinx out there. <laughs> um, no, certainly, I guess if, if I had qualified for the Olympics, I wouldn't be playing here. But uh, when that kind of went out the window, um, I do love to play. I always have loved to play. And, uh, you know, I've had some, some I guess, situations where I've been hurt um, at certain times in my career. So um, I at least can still shoot. So I told Ryan, I'll come out here and shoot threes and try my best to rebound. But uh, it's been fun. I've really enjoyed it. I've, been, I've really enjoyed being around these guys. Last question for you guys. Uh, how fun would it be to bring the TV team to uh, West Lafayette? That would be sweet. Need that. Yeah, be unbelievable. That. And I much, do think that we'll... I say as much as I love Columbus, <laughs> it would be it would be great to host it in West Lafayette for sure. No doubt. Absolutely. Before you go, Robbie, are you happy that uh, this game hasn't happened yet? But are you happy that Evan Turner is not? <laughs> Yes, I am. <laughs> I am very happy to hear that. But you know what? I, I think that we have a real healthy respect for those guys. Um, you know, we had some really good games against them, but I would say that, you know, those are as good a guys as there's going to be out there. John Diebler, William Buford, David Lighty. Um, I, I really have a, a huge amount of respect for those Ohio State guys. And um, yes, I'm glad that Evan's not playing, but, you know, if we do play those guys, that'll be a lot of fun. Thanks, fellas. Congrats. Thanks, guys. Thank you.